very good morning to all today we can discuss about multi stage fet amplifiers in the subject analog analog electronics so multi stage uh, bjt amplifiers uh, you are having cascade and cascode amplifier darlington pair so in this multi stage uh, amplifier using fet we are going to discuss about the cascade and the cascode amplifier so the fet cascade amplifier is a type of multi stage amplifier which is used for amplification of the weak signals mainly we are going we are going for cascading uh, several types of amplifiers are to enhance the amplification so this configuration we are going to cascade to or more stages which will be leading to increase in the gain and the bandwidth compared to using a single stage amplifier so first we can discuss about the cascaded amplifier this is the circuit diagram uh, we are having uh, two fit amplifiers here and the two fit amplifiers will be having the same configuration and which is coupled using a coupling capacitor c2 and you are having a uh, bypass capacitors c1 and c3 then uh, cs okay so this are remaining all the resistors which uses the simple biasing type of uh, uh, fit amplifier so the overall gain of the cascaded amplifier is given by the two stage so we have the first stage and the second stage where it is nothing but the product of the gain of the first stage and the second stage so it is minus gm1 rd1 that is for the first stage and minus gm2 rd2 that is for the second stage the input impedance of the cascaded amplifier for the first stage is because the input is given to the gate terminal of the first stage amplifier if the input impedance is the is equal to the resistance across the gate that is rg1 the output impedance of the cascaded amplifier we are taking the output from the drain of the second stage so the output impedance is rd2 so the main function of cascading amplifier is to achieve larger overall voltage gain and the dc bias and the ac bias calculations for a cascaded amplifier uh, may be we will be following the same uh, calculations as like a multiplication from the first and the second stage so next is the cascode amplifier cascode amplifier we are going to use two different types of fit amplifiers instead of using the same configuration type of amplifiers so the cascode was uh, formed from cascade to cathode and this circuit has a lot of advantages over the single stage amplifier apart from the gain you have high input impedance high output impedance stability and the higher slew rate so we are going to uh, use a buffer amplifier type so the two stages of the amplifier are shown here and the input is fed to the first stage alone so the second stage is not not given the input in the gate terminal it is grounded and the first stage will be uh, fed uh, with the coupling capacitor sorry input bypass capacitor and the cei and the output side you have another one capacitor c not that is nothing but a uh, bypass capacitor and you have a and taking the output from the drain terminal of the second stage of amplifier so the two amplifiers the first stage is the common source and the, that is the source is grounded for the, the second stage consists of the common gate and the gate is grounded so we can say that first stage of the input drives the second stage so the gate of the since the gate of the second stage is grounded the voltage of the drain that is the output from the stage one and voltage of the source of q2 that is the input to the source is almost the same so the q2 gives low input resistance to q1 so in conclusion this reduces the miller effect and increases the bandwidth so uh, moreover we have the lower gain of q1 which does not affect the overall gain of the circuit because q2 compensates for the loss and increase the overall gain so at last we are achieving the uh, bandwidth and the gain without any loss but how we are going to achieve uh, the other things like high input impedance is since we are using the first stages the common source amplifier which is having a high input impedance and the output side we are using common gate amplifier which leads to 
high output impedance. So we are going to achieve high input impedance and output impedance. That, that is the two advantages. And what is high input output isolation? Since the gate, uh, the output from the first stage, that is the drain, and the input to the second, that is the source, which will be directly coupled together, uh, that is uh, without the need of any capacitor. So that is a high input output isolation. And this type of circuit is used uh, in this applications like uh, RF tuners modulation technique and the improve the performance of analog circuits. Thank you.